All right. Hey guys, it's me, Echo Craft, and I'm trying something new right now. I decided to try out OBS, and uh, but we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about this. What's really cool um, is uh, Korg came out with three modules, and I am kind of blown away by this. I wanted them to do this when I bought my OP6 and my wave state and my mod wave. And I was hoping they would come out with a module version of it. And they did uh, a dollar late though, uh, a day short or however you would say it. But anyway, let's get into it. All right, so here we are. Um, this is Natalie from Korg. Uh, she's a Korg rep. She's actually really cool. I've watched a bunch of her videos. And we're just going to get right to it, and we'll play this video, and uh, let's take a listen. Hey, everyone. Natalie here to tell you that at last, the wait is over. Our beloved digital synths, WaveState, Op6, and ModWave, are now available as Those are really cool. These compact modules are so perfect cool. for a variety of musicians, from composers and producers who primarily use computers and MIDI controllers, to keyboardists with a dedicated keyboard controller they love, to anyone wanting hardware synths as their sound source. In addition to the WaveState Op6 and ModWave software versions being available as native plugins, Which these is really new modules cool. I have the, the software versions as well. Of crafting your own sounds by tweaking knobs and manipulating sliders. And for ultimate flexibility, patches and programs are interchangeable between the modules and their plug-in counterparts, allowing you to work across platforms effortlessly. Very cool. Each module can be customized to your unique needs and workspace. Well, Not I don't want to get caught by the uh, YouTube police, but you get it. You can check setup. out this ad on Korg. Look at that. I love, equipment, I just wanted to say this real quick. I love the rack. Or for desktop use, adjust and they the have desktop to use uh, racks too, so you can just adjust them the way you want. Again, I don't want the YouTube police coming after me, but um, check out this video on Korg's website. It's actually really cool. So yeah, so there you have it. Um, again, just testing the waters here with OBS, something new. I haven't done this before. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I, I like the way synth Samurai's thing is set up. I've always wanted to do something kind of like that. I'm still going to do my unboxing videos, but for, uh, reviewing gear and stuff on the website, um, on YouTube and stuff like that, uh, it's going to be very cool to do. So I hope you enjoyed this little ditty. And again, keep your eye out. It's Nam season nam is next week i usually go to nam and i can't make it this week uh this this year um and i really want to go but i can't uh i haven't gone since 2020 right before the pandemic hit um i did go to that last nam and it was awesome and i met a lot of cool people you can check out my nam video uh on my uh youtube channel right here um but yeah so anyway um Without further ado, uh, we're going to try to get some more NAM videos uh, and we're going to get some more um, uh, videos from uh, the different products that are out there. But again, I just wanted to test my waters with this and see what happens. So uh, I kind of like it. It's kind of cool. And again, thank you, Synth Samurai, for uh, paving the way for something cool because I've never done this before. And thanks for the shout out today as well uh on the edge uh demo that i did um so yeah peace <laughs>